dear friends today we are going to discuss the topic development of surfaces of pyramid the problem is following figure shows the front view of square pyramid draw its development of lateral surface and add top view so given is the front view of the pyramid so our aim is to draw the front view first so see the dimensions the overall height of the pyramid is 65 mm and this distance distance means now uh, even this uh, pyramid shows that it is that means uh, their faces are equally inclined but the diagonal distance is given 50 mm it is not the side of the uh, square okay so now let us try to draw such a front view of the given pyramid so first draw the diagonals position of the diagonal in the top view okay now as we know the, the distance of the diagonal that means length of the diagonal is given 50 mm so first of all just try to draw the end projector of that diagonal so after drawing x y line just take vertical two lines separated by a distance of 50 mm okay this is the length of diagonal now try to draw the square whose diagonal is 50 mm okay so draw this square square base now see now next is what look locate the corners corners means just label a b c d in anti clockwise direction okay then let's see next is what in the top view considering this o point as a vertex that means it is the top point pyramid we know the shape of the pyramid okay so in top view this oa is the slant edge of the pyramid similarly join all the edges slant edges ob oc and then finally od this is the top view of the pyramid now to draw the front view given front view just extend this center line in front view then next is just uh, label the point o dash this is the point where the diagonal intersect okay and then the corners a dash b dash c dash and finally d dash okay now the vertex is at the distance of that means the height is given 65 mm so locate the vertex here o dash correct now just join o dash to c dash then o dash to a dash and o dash b dash and t dash these are what these are the slant edges of pyramid clear now next is the inclination of the cutting plane there are two cutting planes okay one is at bottom at 30 degree and one is at top at 45 degree but starting from the point hmm, on the this slant edge okay so first of all just this plane cutting plane this at a at an angle of 30 degree this is 30 degree to the base okay then next is 
measure distance of 25 mm from top top means from the vertex okay now draw the projection it cut the point on the this slant edge here so this is that point a uh, p dash c correct now we have to start drawing the cutting plane from this point at an angle of 45 degree okay this angle is 45 degree now we got one another point point of intersection where these two cutting planes intersect okay uh, now see this cutting plane top cutting plane intersect this edge slant edge ob and od at this point okay this point at p dash p and p dash d okay and the bottom side cutting plane this cutting plane intersect the same edges same slant edges at this point so we can label this point as q dash b and q dash d okay now see now next is this point point of intersection of these two cutting planes just label it as p dash 1 and p dash 2 okay now we have to locate this points on top view uh, so for that just from where this point passes actually this cutting plane passes through one of the generator from uh, this AB side AB face and AD face there will be another point so we have to locate that so just draw the generator from this vertex O dash which passes through P dash 1 and P dash 2 so we got the points on the bottom surface bottom edges clear at 1 and 2 1 dash and 2 dash so locate them on the edges in the top view ok so take the projection so we got now two points which two points P1 and P2 ok clear now the remaining portion this uh, this part this region is the cutout region ok so remaining part remaining edges we can show them by outline thick lines so try to draw the thick lines in this way so we got now the front view and this is the top view ok so now our aim is to develop so for that just we can draw or take any point O this vertex we can extend this projection if you have a large space here because the development require the more space then you can take the point here but now our space is the limited so just locate point O anywhere in this way this is the point O dash clear now taking the slant edge this O dash and A dash this is the slant edge length of slant edge as a radius clear draw an arc see this is the arc of radius equal to O dash to A dash clear so just join draw this line which is the radial distance or you can say uh, slant edge name the point 
as e clear so now when we develop such a pyramid we know as it is the square pyramid so there will be four edges straight edges so draw the straight edges of a distance now the distance we uh, don't know here the distance but with the help of compass we can measure this a to b distance in compass and just cut here and draw the line line segment okay similarly another so try to draw such a edges on the development okay you can name the points b c d and this is again the closing edge e okay now draw the slant edges in the development join all the points on this curve with the straight line these are the edges okay now next is what next is next is our location of these all points clear but now uh, we can see that all the points are at different distances from this vertex clear so as it is the develop uh, development uh, on the curve clear because when we know the distance of the points exactly on this axis so we can measure the uh, length of the axis, axis clear or the distance of this point uh, from this vertex but when it is exactly on this land edges then what to do so what can we do here just measure this distance okay in the compass and taking as a radius we have drawn here the curve one arc is there on this arc and on the edge slant edge c oc clear yeah. the point will be p dash c so on this arc and on this edge this point of intersection will be p dash c okay similarly we have to locate another points just like p dash b p dash d q dash b and q dash d so how to draw them so take a distance of compass uh, take a distance this distance in compass how to take so take take this distance from here to here and draw an arc with o as a center clear so similar to this p dash c we can locate p dash b and p dash d so the intersection obtained from this arc and the edge ob this point will be p dash b correct and on this od that will be p dash d clear so similarly we can locate q dash b and q dash b by taking the radius equal to which distance from o to this one okay draw one another arc with o dash as a center and similar similar to that we can locate here will be q dash b and here will be q dash d clear now we have to locate p dash 1 and p dash 2 now it is somewhat difficult to locate this so how to locate yes first locate point number 
on this curve or on this edge AD. How? By taking a distance of A to P1 in compass and mark here. Clear? Here will be that point. Similarly, A to P2 distance and from here A to P2. Okay. So, just draw this generator first O dash 1 to 1 and similarly here. First locate that point, point number 2 here and then draw the generator. Okay. Now we have to locate the point. So now see measure distance from vertex to this vertical distance not inclined distance huh? not inclined distance means this this ok sorry this distance ok this o dash 2 p dash 1 hmm? and draw an arc clear so the intersection of tend from this arc and these two generators the points we got P1 and here P2 clear now we have all the points located and finally this point C it is exactly on that means at the bottom of the generator so this will be that point C so now just join all the points with the help of scale see this will be the cut portion clear just observe all the points we have joined by a straight line these are the cut portion and the remaining edges remaining edges we can join in this way ok now this is the total development of the given pyramid clear i hope you understood this problem so thank you